All right, so this team right here, I just wanted to use the Leviathan Hatchling. I've got Water Jet instead of Tail Slap because I hate Tail Slap. It always hits on the low end for me. It's a pain in the ass. I'd much rather just have consistent damage. Toxic Skin, just because I want to try it out. Toxic Skin does 5% damage to your opponent every time you take damage. So if they have any kind of Dot or Immolation, Death and Decay, they're going to be taking 5% of their health as damage every time you get hit. Which I thought would be really great. Didn't go against any teams like that though, but you know, it's always nice. And then Primal Cry, just because it's fun to be fast to my opponent. Uh, I did also pick two other pets who can benefit from the speed increase somewhat. Like if they go first, they're actually really good because they're both kind of slow. And they both hit really damn hard. So we got the giant sewer rat. Uh, one of the, the hardest hitting rat. You have the nice little Poison Fang Stampede combo. Really good against Undeads and Mechanicals because Poison Fang does elemental damage for its dot and Stampede increases the damage of it by 100%. And it also does Critter damage. So uh, it does really good damage against two of the most popular type of pets in PvP. Absolutely destroys decoys as well. Fun stuff. And then just Scratch because I didn't like Comeback. I tried that out. Last time I used Giant Sea Rat on a team, I wasn't a big fan of it. Scratch, Scratch is fun because uh, it does consistent damage. You don't have to worry about being lower health than your opponent. And it just hits really hard since he's a power power type. Then I got the Servant of Demidots, Tumblr, the definition of a glass cannon. He is the most glass cannon -y pet in the game. He has got hell for all for health. It only has like 1200 health. That's is like one of the lowest health values in the game. It's super low. Uh, he also has one of the highest attack power values in the game. 366. Not the highest, but let's compare him to the highest. Little Ragnaros. 374. Uh, 366. Ragnaros only has less than 10 health more. I mean, less than 10 attack power more than the Servant of Demidas. Servant of Demidas also has three really hard hitting abilities. Uh, I didn't really take cleanup though. That one's also really hard hitting just because Siphon Anima is a lot better. You have Soul Rush, which just hits for about 600 damage and has a 25% chance to stun. Siphon Anima, which heals you for about 350 while at the same time doing about 350 damage. Really great. And then Magic Sword. I think this is a unique ability to Servant of Demidas. Uh, looks like the Treasure Goblin also has it as well. So yeah, basically just Servant of Demidas and one really hard to get pet. Magic Sword uh, hits as hard as a basic attack, while on top of that, having an additional 50% chance to crit. Actually, you know what? Uh, it doesn't hit as hard as a basic attack. It's a little bit less. Because Giant Sewer Rat, his scratch is the definition of just a basic attack. There's no modifiers to it or anything. It hits for 361. Magic Sword hits for 328. Uh, that's like 30 less. And Servant of Demidas has more attack power than the Giant Sewer Rat. So yeah, it does hit a little bit less than a basic attack, but it has a 50% increased chance to crit. It does crit a lot. Because that's on top of like the 5% basic. I don't know what the base hit chance, crit chance is. And the cool thing about Tumblr, even though he is a glass cannon, he can't be one-shot because he's like the only pet where the uh, magic racial is actually useful. Just because he has so little health, he gets hit for about 33% of his health, 35%, like pretty much every time he gets hit. So his magic racial activates all the time. You need to hit him at least three times to kill him, which means you'll be able to get off at least two attacks before kicking the bucket. Uh, three attacks if you use Siphon Anima because it's going to heal you up for more than a 35% chunk of your health. So, if you're able to get off a, a Siphon Anima after taking a hit, usually just go Soul Rush, Siphon Anima, get healed up, and then Magic Sword twice before kicking the bucket. He's fun to use. I like to use him whenever I can. And this team really allows me to actually use Siphon. I mean, Servant of Demidas. Uh, alright, what an interesting selection for a first team. I'm gonna go with the Leviathan Hatchling, because he has a good matchup against his entire team. I'm gonna start off with Toxic Skin. Uh, because if he decides to go for some flurries, that's that's gonna be a lot of damage to him. Since it ignores Crouch, basically. One, two, three. Ooh, isn't as much damage as I thought it would be. <laughs> Nowhere near as much, to be honest. <laughs> 
cool thing about Toxic Skin is that it works on uh, dots as well. Alright, so we got Zomstruck now. Uh, I'm still just gonna keep going for my. My whatchamacallit, my damage abilities. Uh, might as well go for my AoE as well. Let's go for that, debuff his team, just use it off cooldown. It is nice damage. Decent damage, I guess. Plus, the debuff's nice. Even if he does have Dazzling Dance, looks like he's gonna try to. <laughs> He's gonna try to go one for one for damage, I guess. I don't know why he's trying to fight my Leviathan Hatchling. That looks like we have the same speed now. Uh, cool, let's throw up Toxic Skin just in case I live this. Nope, he crit. Well, shit. Giant Sewer Rat should have a good matchup against both of his remaining pets. Uh, Servant of Demidas. I'm gonna need him to burst down Weebomination. Yeah, I could also just burst him down with uh, the giant sewer rat. I'm gonna go for a Poison Fang. And I'm gonna Spam Stampede. Well, I mean, I'm gonna use Spam Stampede because I don't really have a choice in the matter. There we go, he's gonna start taking extra damage from the dot. He'll probably use his Consume this turn, which is fine. Because I'm still going to do a ton of damage to him. <laughs> Look at that 100% extra dot damage right there. Yeah. Kawaii, he's the hardest hitting stampede user in the game. I think. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure on that. No, Kawaii! You're going to kick the bucket to this guy. Oh, uh, shit. I hate that racial. <laughs> he's going to get off two more abilities where he should have died. No! He exploded on me! Uh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Come on, Stampede, get it off! Oh. <laughs> Come on, I need him to only hit twice. Only hit twice. If you do that, Siphon Animus, Siphon Anima will allow me to. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. Cool. Now let's go for a soul rush. We can do this. Come on, we need a stun. Oh shit, I got the stun. <laughs> oh shit, it wasn't enough. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh. Damn. That was that was really close. I thought for sure I'd won it when I got the stun. Turns out it wasn't really enough. Um okay, this was a weird team. I'm gonna go with the Leviathan Hatchling, I guess. And throw out Primal Cry, that way I can outspeed him. No! Yay! Yeah, I didn't get to put to sleep right off the bat, that's always fun. Cool, now I can go for my toxic skin. Now if he does put me to sleep, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. <laughs> <laughs> because I'll still do damage to him since I got toxic skin out. Come on, use your cleansing rain. That actually helped me out a lot if you would just use your cleansing rain. Uh, I'm gonna go for one more primal cry. I really, I really like being faster than this frog. Oh, looks like he got a heal instead. Damn it. Now that I know that. Uh, now that I know that, what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, it wasn't enough to kill him. I guess Toxic Skin kind of whittled him down a little bit. It didn't really do as much as I had hoped. But whatever. <gasps> Ooh, type advantage. Go for that Water Jet. I was going to refresh Primal Cry. But it looks like I'm not doing that. Uh, will I die if I attack him? If I don't, I'm going to die to whatever move he uses on me. Unless he doesn't go for a move. No, he went for a leech seed. Uh, well, I can't really go into giant rat since he's all about doing dot damage. So I can just go for a tumbler and just kill him with a soul rush. Unless he switches out, of course. Oh shit! A, a stun. I love it when that happens when I do it. I hate it when it gets hap when it gets done to me. Um, which, how much is this hit for? Magic Sword has the potential to actually kill him. No! 
<laughs> Actually, you know what, Surge is fine on Tumblr. <laughs> Tumblr is a glass cannon, but uh, at least he has one good thing going for him. He can't be one-shot. Because <laughs> it was useless magic racial. He's always going to at least survive two turns. No matter what. Unless your opponent has like a howl and is able to use like a flurry and all of flurry's crit. Something like that. Boo, it's this team. Um, I went against him last time. It was kind of weird. He started off with graves. And he didn't have grave destruction, so... I'm gonna start with the giant sewer rat just in case he does that shit again. So, poison fang. And then stampede. Yeah, it looks like he's doing it again. He's using skull toss. I'm gonna go for a stampede because he also went for a clobber right after it. Uh oh, he's trying to fight me. He's trying to fight me. He's gonna die. There goes the <laughs> clobber. <laughs> clobber on a critter. Not the smartest thing to do in the world. I wouldn't do it personally. Oh, Kawaii. Uh, I'm just gonna leave Kawaii in. He's kind of low in health. This was a good matchup against little Ragnaros. Uh, if he goes into his bright paw, I don't mind getting one shot by him. Hmm, I'm actually kind of fucking low right now. I really want to get off my poison thing before dying. Yay! Poison thing. Cool, now I can die. Die with honor. And now I've got Tumblr. Let's go straight for a Siphon Anima. Uh, I can't be one-shotted, so we're good to go. He's got his little dot on him. <laughs> Did you forget about our magic, Racial? <laughs> you idiot. You should just switch out and let the dot kill you in the back row. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, I really don't want Tumblr to get hit one more time, so I'm going to switch out. Because he's going to die to the poison. Okie dokes. So I'm going to go for a water jet, and if he uses Sons of the Flame, I'm just going to use Toxic Skin. Uh, I don't know if that'll actually damage him while he's submerged. But I'm going to find out. Oh, <laughs> did he just say my fire be purged? When does he say that? That's awesome. Oh, yeah, it doesn't hit him. Whatever, just refresh Toxic Skin. Thy fire be purged. If he hits me, I don't think he actually takes extra damage since this does like a fixed percentage. He's gonna kill himself if he hits me, no matter what, though. Yeah, it does fix uh, percentage. It's always just 5% of their health. Cool thing about Toxic Skin is it works on dots as well. Uh, it doesn't work on Submerge. I did kind of want to find that out. That would have been really cool if it did, though. 